What's up everybody, Direct back at it again with another video. Today, the people over at Black Matter decided to come out with a banger that includes a lot of new features, and we're going to be analyzing it right here, right now. So the beginning of this obviously shows that this is the Hurtigan Forest that they're showing off, the new map. A majority of this clip is basically the Germans fighting against the Americans, and it, it's from a German perspective, and they're always shooting Americans. What's apparent to me is that they're finally showing off the tanks. You can see the Panther on the left side right here. And man, does it look good, and it sounds amazing. Up next, the clip shows off a inside look of what the driver is seeing, and my understanding is that the driver is able to shoot the machine gun that's on the right-hand side, so wherever he's looking, the machine gun should shoot. And then it shows off the guy that's in the turret. At the bottom, it says PZGR, which I think is Panzer grenadier i don't know i could be wrong 40 ap loaded which i'm guessing is the round that's in the you know barrel here the compass is still there obviously at the bottom right i believe that this is the slots that everybody's in you got the driver and then you got the gunner and then you got the commander that's usually you know at the top looking around my understanding is that the tanks can only hold about three people one that's driving and one that's gunning and one that's you know the commander and it looks like he switched onto the coaxial mg34 so there's ap and he which he shoots off smoke i believe correct me if i'm wrong and yeah let's push on and then we see a german running with an mg42 i believe that is to the left of him it looks like that's an american fighter that's been downed which i have to wonder if we're able to shoot down american fighters that'd be kind of cool or maybe it's just a set piece i don't know to the Right of the wrecked airplane, you can see a guy holding a Panzer Shrek. And we'll continue the clip from here. It seems like he's running, he's running, and then it goes to another scene. You see the squad running with the tank, which I'm guessing they're trying to support it. As you know, it, my understanding is that the system is supposed to be like a company of heroes. You're supposed to support your tank with infantry in order to keep it alive. At least that's that's how I'm, you know, getting this. And then it gets shot from the right side from a weird looking angle. What, I have to wonder if like the tank is on a hill and it's shooting down. Huh. That looks so cool, by the way. The freaking... Oh, that's... Oh, it's so nice. Then we continue on to seeing that German with the MG42 running down a trench. The sound of the guns, it sounds so nice. <laughs> They really updated it since the Alpha. Now it looks like the Panther is smoking. I don't know if it's dead, but it looks like it's smoking on the right hand side where it got hit. Listen to the sound of that uh, MP40 here. Oh my god, we get a first look at the dismemberment system. Jesus Christ. It looks like they're losing this area. It's called Jacob's Barn. It looks like they're losing it. And then we get a look at the tank, and it looks like this is from where it actually got hit. This looks like a previous clip from the guy that's inside of the tank where he gets hit. And as you can see, it really rocks it, and it looks like he gets hit from the bottom right, which, yeah, I believe that's where he, you know, got hit. It seems like the tank is actually shooting his coaxial, which we saw from uh, earlier that he had the MG34 clicked on, so we know that he's using that. It looks like there's a German trooper that's on the left side right there while the uh, Panther is firing. I can't tell if that's a rocket that's shooting at the panther right there or if that's the panther firing. I think it's a rocket getting shot at him, but uh, I'm not sure. But either way, we're, we're getting perspectives from two Germans on the left and right hand side of uh, the panther here. And that looks like a deflection, actually. Yeah, you kind of see. Yeah, that's a deflection. If you like slow it down ever so slightly, you can see the right there. It deflects. It deflects. Cool. That's just showing that you really need to aim for the backside or, you know, you can't hit it from the front unless you hit it in a specific spot, which I don't know if they're actually aiming for that. One thing that I've noticed is that you can hear people dying. Like you can hear in game people screaming like as soon as they explode. Ah! you know a thing like that that's pretty that's pretty uh realistic there also seems to be something in the middle right there that says artillery strike maybe that's from the commander i don't know so now we get a look at the um I'm not sure what he was shooting at there but you know that makes a pretty good explosion i wonder if there's backblast in the game oh shit you see that <laughs> I mean, I guess you did because you're watching the video. But anyways, so yeah, this guy, I'm guessing, it looks like this might have been a grenade that somebody had thrown. Like, he shoots just a little bit after he gets, you know, exploded. Like, he might have been shot by a tank or a rocket, I don't know. And then after that, we get an even bigger explosion, which I don't even know what the hell that's from. I'm actually curious, what the hell is that from? That could have been a mortar round, maybe? It looks really big. Or, or maybe the tank shooting, I don't know. And then we get a closer look at the two houses that the Germans were assaulting in the beginning here. It looks like this German is staring at a trench that's just in front of it, and I believe he's gonna gun down someone. And that he does. Listen to the sound of that MP40. Holy shit. And then here is the Gavir. I got a lot of shit last time when I tried to say Gewer. It's the Gavir. I think that's how you say that. 
man, these these guns are really freaking accurate. Holy shit. And this guy with the pistol, I have to wonder if he's the medic. So I'm guessing that the medic is just going to stick with the pistol. That or this could be a guy that's ran out of ammo and he's switching to a sidearm. I don't know. And so the panther has moved up it seems, to the houses here. And there is a lot of German bodies that are dead. And also I see a couple of American bodies here. I'm guessing that this is a place that we have to take. Yeah, so the guy with the pistol was the medic. Okay, so the medic still doesn't get uh, a weapon, it seems, um, which I'm okay with, you know. No big deal, at least for me anyway. Actually, yeah, it shows at the bottom right right there. Let's see what it says. So yeah, we can actually see the inventory that's at the bottom right right here. It says uh, the grenade, the bandage, morphine, and the Walther P38. So the medic doesn't seem to get a rifle. And that's completely fine with me. You know, I'm down for whatever the devs decide to do. And then we finally get to see the MG42. Let's see if it actually fires. That he does. Oh my god, the sound of that car 98 sounds so nice. And the cat... Man, they... They really buffed up all the sounds for the weapons, it seems. I have to wonder what all the other sounds on the American side sound like. Can't wait to get into the beta. Oh, I like the movement a lot. The way that he was running right there, it looked like he was actually trying to, like, duck his head to, uh, you know, not get hit by bullets. So we see more people moving up on the house here. Oh, oh, mortar fire, mortar fire. And he may be dead. And they show off this cool-looking photo, which kind of reminds me of Battlefield a little. Uh, but, I mean, it's a little more realistic than, you know, Battlefield. But, man, I'd like to have that wallpaper. Looks so nice. And then title screen, Hell Let Loose, PC, Early Access, Early, you know, 2019. Yeah, they teamed up with Team 17, which I'm not sure as to who those people are. So yeah, I wanted to make a video about the trailer and, and tell people when the game is actually supposed to come out for people that didn't back it. And um, it was going to be early 2019, and it seems like this confirms it. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I'm, I'm glad to finally see that they actually released something. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the analysis video that I had here. And yeah, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.